Ezekiel chapter 1 On the fifth day of the fourth month of the thirtieth year, when I was with the exiles by the river Kebar, the heavens opened and I had visions from Yahweh. On the fifth of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim, the word of Yahweh came to Ezekiel, son of Bosi, the priest, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the banks of the Kebar. There the hand of Yahweh was upon me. I looked, a windstorm came from the north, bringing a great cloud. A fiery light inside it lit up all around it, while at the center there was something like a glowing metal. In the center were what appeared to be four creatures with the same form, but each had four pieces and four wings. Their legs were straight and their feet were like those of a calf, shining like polished bronze. Under their wings, on their four sides, they had human hands. The wings of one touched those of the other. Their faces did not turn as they advanced because they were able to go forward in any of the four directions of their faces. I saw they had human faces, but each one also had the face of a lion on the right and on the left the face of an ox, and all four had the face of an eagle. Their wings were spread upwards. Each had two wings meeting those of its neighbor and two covering its body. Having four pieces, they could advance in any of the four directions. Wherever the spirit would go, they went without turning as they advanced. Between these creatures could be seen glowing coals like torches moving between them. The fire blazed and flashed from thunderbolts. The creatures ran to and fro like thunderbolts. While I looked at the creatures, I saw a wheel on the ground beside each of them, glittering as if made of chrysolite. The four wheels had the same shape. Indeed, each was double, two wheels placed crosswise, so they could follow any of the four directions without turning as they went. Their rims were lofty and looked terrifying, and the four of them were covered with ice all the way around. When the creatures moved forward, the wheels moved along beside them, and when the creatures rose from the ground, the wheels rose too. Wherever the spirit was to go, there the creatures went, and the wheels went with them, for the spirit of the creatures was also in the wheels. When the creatures moved forward, they did too, stopping when they stopped, rising above the ground when they did, for the spirit of the creatures was in the wheels. Over the heads of the creatures was a kind of platform. It looked like crystal. Under the platform, their wings were straight, one parallel to the other. Each creature had two that covered its body. I heard the noise of their wings when they moved, similar to the roar of many waters, similar to the voice of the Most High, the noise of a multitude or of a camp. When they were not moving, they lowered their wings. I heard a noise above the platform over their heads. Above it was a throne resembling a sapphire, and high on this throne was a figure similar to that of a man. Then I saw a light as of glowing bronze, as if fire enveloped him from his waist upwards. 
and from his waist downwards it was as if fire gave radiance around him the surrounding light was like a rainbow in the clouds after a day of rain this vision was the likeness of yahweh's glory on seeing it i fell on my face and then i heard a voice speaking ezekiel chapter 2 he said to me son of man stand up for i am about to speak to you a spirit came upon me as he spoke and kept me standing and then i heard him speak son of man i am sending you to the israelites to a people who have rebelled against me they and their fathers have sinned against me to this day now i am sending you to these defiant and stubborn people to tell them this is the lord yahweh's word so whether they listen or not this set of rebels will know there is a prophet among them but you son of man do not fear them or what they say for they will be as thorns for you and you will be sitting on a nest of scorpions don't be afraid of their words when you are facing this set of rebels tell them what i say whether they choose to listen or not for they are rebels listen then son of man to what i say and don't be a rebel among rebels open your mouth and take in what i am about to say i looked and saw a hand stretched out in front of me holding a scroll he unrolled it before me on both sides were written lamentations groanings and woes Ezekiel chapter 3 He said to me son of man eat what is given to you eat this scroll and then go speak to the people of Israel I opened my mouth and he made me eat the scroll and then he said to me eat and fill yourself with this scroll that I am giving you I ate it and it tasted as sweet as honey. He said, Son of man, go to the Israelites. Speak to them with my words. Indeed, it is not a people with a difficult foreign language to whom you are sent. It is to the people of Israel. It's not to the many nations with the difficult and obscure languages which you cannot understand if i sent you to them they would listen to you but the israelites will not listen to you because they are not willing to listen to me all of them are defiant and stubborn of heart see i am making your face as unyielding as theirs and your forehead as hard as theirs I am making your forehead as hard as a diamond harder than flint so you shall not fear or tremble because of this set of rebels he said to me son of man listen and take to heart all i say to you and then go to the exiles your fellow countrymen speak to them and tell them this is what yahweh says whether they listen or not then the spirit lifted me up behind me i heard a great acclamation blessed be the glory of yahweh in his dwelling place and i heard the noise of the animals wings brushing against each other and the noise of the wheels it was a great uproar the spirit had lifted me up and carried me off but i went in a bitter and feverish spirit because the hand of yahweh was heavy upon me i came to tel abib 
to the exiles living by the river Keba and I stayed there seven days with them overwhelmed after seven days the word of Yahweh came to me son of man I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel with the word you hear from my mouth you will warn them in my name when i say to the wicked you will surely die if you do not speak to warn the wicked man to give up his evil ways and so live he shall die for his sin and i will hold you responsible for his death but if you have warned the wicked man and he has not given up his wickedness and evil ways he shall die for his sin but you will save yourself when the righteous man turns from what is good to do evil i shall put an obstacle in his path he shall die since you did not warn him he will die for his sin his good deeds will not be remembered and i shall hold you responsible for his death but when you have warned the righteous man to keep him from sinning and he has not sinned he will live for sure for he was warned and you will save your life the hand of yahweh was upon me and said to me get up go to the valley and there i shall speak to you i got up and went towards the valley and there was the glory of yahweh that i had seen by the kebar river i fell on my face then the spirit came to me and kept me standing he spoke to me and said go shut yourself in your house you son of man will be bound with cords and prevented from going among the people your tongue shall stick to your palate and you will remain dumb and not be able to rebuke them for they are a rebellious people but when i speak to you i shall open your lips and you shall say to them this is the word of yahweh he who listens let him listen and he who refuses to listen let him refuse for they are a rebellious people ezekiel chapter 4 Son of man take a clay tablet place it in front of you and draw on it the city of Jerusalem then act as if you were laying siege to it dig a trench round it and build a ram set up tents and a battering ram against it take an iron pan place it as a wall of iron between you and the city and look towards the city it is under siege and you are besieging it all this will be a sign for the people of israel lie on your left side taking upon yourself the sin of israel for you will bear their sin as long as you are lying on it I have assigned to you a number of days equal to the duration of their sins for a hundred and ninety days you will bear the sin of Israel. When you have completed this, you shall lie down again on your right side and bear the sin of Judah forty days, one day corresponding to a year. Then you shall turn your face and you are bad arm towards the siege of Jerusalem and prophesy against it i shall bind you with cords to prevent you from turning from one side to the other until you have completed the days of your confinement take some wheat and barley some beans lentils millet and spelt put it all in one vessel and make some bread this is what you will eat all the time you are lying on your side 190 days the food you eat 
will be a daily ration of 8 ounces a day you will drink 2/3 of a quart of water each day eat the food as you would a barley cake you will cook it publicly on human dung for that is the way says yahweh the people of israel will eat unclean bread among the nations where i shall drive them i said oh lord yahweh i have not been defiled from childhood until now i have never eaten any animal found dead or torn unclean meat has never entered my mouth he then said very well i allow you cow dung in place of human dung for baking your bread he continued son of man i shall cut off the food in jerusalem they will eat strictly rationed bread with anxiety and despair as they drink water sparingly for food and water will be in short supply and they will all waste away because of their sin Ezekiel chapter 5 Son of man take a sharp sword and use it as a barber's razor on your head and beard then take scales and divide the hair you have cut off burn a third of it in the middle of the city at the end of the siege then take a third that you will strike with the sword all around the city finally scatter a third in the wind and unsheath your sword and pursue them take a few strands of hair and tuck them away in the folds of your clothes then throw some of them to burn in the fire then speak against all israel this is what yahweh said that is jerusalem i placed her in the midst of the nations surrounded by other countries she rebelled against my laws and my precepts more than neighboring nations in fact she rejected my laws and did not keep my decrees that is why yahweh speaks thus your rebellion is greater than that of the nations around you you have not kept my laws respected my decrees or observed my ordinances but instead have conformed to the laws of neighboring nations because of that yahweh speaks thus i too have set myself against you i will pass judgment on you in the sight of the nations and because of your abominations i will punish you in a way i have never before done and never will do in the future that is why parents among you will lead their children and children their parents i will pass judgment on you and scatter your remnant to every wind therefore as surely as i live declares yahweh because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your horrors and abominations i will strike you without pity i too will show no mercy a third of your people will die of the plague or starve within your walls a third will fall by the sword outside the city a third i will scatter to the winds and pursue with sword unsheathed my anger will spend itself my fury against them be satisfied i will have my revenge and they will know that i yahweh have spoken in my jealousy when i have exhausted my fury against them i will make you a heap of ruins a reproach among the neighboring nations in the eyes of all who pass by you will be a reproach a taunt a lesson a warning and an object of horror for the nations near you when with anger wrath and stinging reproach i punish you 
i yahweh have spoken when i send against you the deadly arrows of starvation to do away with you and blot you out i will make you lack all food hunger and wild beasts will destroy your children while sword and plague will visit you it is i yahweh who have spoken Ezekiel chapter 6 The word of Yahweh came to me as follows Son of man look towards the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them say to them mountains of Israel listen to the word of Yahweh to the mountains and hills to the rivers and valleys Yahweh has spoken I am going to bring the sword against you and destroy your high places your altars will become desolate your incense burners smashed I will lay your corpses in front of your idols and scatter your bones around your altars wherever you live the towns will be in ruins and the high places desolate your altars demolished and defiled your filthy idols smashed and ruined your incense burners knocked all around you and you will know that i am yahweh but i shall spare some of you they will escape the sword and be scattered among the nations your survivors then will remember me among the people where they are exiled for i shall break the adulterous hearts of those whose eyes lusted after their idols they will loathe themselves for the evil they committed for all their abominations and they will know that i yahweh have not spoken in vain in saying i would inflict this disaster on them this is what yahweh said clap your hands stamp your feet and say well then when the people of israel are falling by the sword famine and plague because of their abominations he who is far away will die of the plague he who is near will fall by the sword whoever survives and is spared will die of starvation against them i will exhaust my fury and you will know that i am yahweh when their people lie slain in the midst of their idols around their altars on every high hill on the mountain tops under every green tree and spreading oak and wherever they offered fragrant incense to all their idols I will stretch out my hand against them I will make their country a desolate wasteland from the desert to Ribla wherever they live and they will know that I am Yahweh Ezekiel chapter 7 This word of Yahweh came to me and you son of man Listen to what the Lord says to Israel. Finish. The end is coming for the four corners of the land. It is all over for you. I am unleashing my anger against you. I will judge you according to your ways and repay you for all your filthy practices. I will not look on you with pity. I will be merciless. I will bring against you what is fitting for your conduct and your detestable practices and you will know it is Yahweh striking you thus says Yahweh disaster disaster is coming the end is near it is your turn you who live in the country the time has come the day is near no joy only panic on the mountains now i am unleashing my fury against you 
my anger will exhaust itself on you i will judge you according to your ways and your detestable practices i will not look on you with pity i will be without mercy i will judge you according to your conduct and call you to account for your detestable practices i will not look on you with pity and i will show you no mercy i will give you what your conduct deserves and you will know that i am yahweh when i strike you for your abominable practices this is the day the end is coming the die is cast for insolence as blossomed pride bears its fruits and violence reigns no one will escape the time has come the day is here let not the buyer rejoice or the seller regret for the punishment will fall upon all the seller will not get back what he has sold even though he survives for the sentence regarding the multitude will not be reversed they may sound the trumpet make preparations but no one will go to battle for i am indignant with all outside in the open is the sword plague and starvation in the houses those in the country will die by the sword those in the city will be victims of famine and plague those who escape will go to the mountains they will be like doves each one mourning because of his sin every hand will be limp every knee as weak as water they will put on sackcloth and shudder all will be covered with shame and every head bald they will throw their silver in the streets and their gold will be dropped like filth silver or gold will not save them on the day of yahweh's anger it will be useless to satisfy their hunger and to fill their stomachs for it was their stumbling block the cause of their sin they became proud of their splendid jewel the temple but they put into it their loathsome images and idols that is why i will make it a horror i will hand it over as plunder to foreigners and as booty to the most wicked of the land and they will defile it i will take away my protection from them and people will profane my treasure robbers will enter and desecrate it and within it there will be massacres for the land is full of violence i will bring the most cruel of the nations to take possession of their houses i will break the pride of the violent and their sanctuaries will be profane anguish is coming they will seek peace but there will be none disaster will follow disaster rumor will follow rumor in vain will they demand a vision from the prophet the priest will have no answer the elders will be unable to advise the king will moan the princess will be overcome with grief and the hands of the citizens will tremble i will treat them as their conduct deserves and judge them according to their deeds and they will know that i am yahweh ezekiel chapter 8 on the 5th day of the 6th month in the 6th year i happened to be sitting in my house with the elders of juda sitting in front of me when the hand of yahweh fell heavily on me i looked and saw a being as of fire downwards from what appeared to be his loins there was the appearance of fire and from his loins upward a brightness like sparkling bronze as he stretched out the form of a hand 
and took me by my hair the spirit lifted me between heaven and earth and brought me in a divine vision to jerusalem to the entrance of the inner gate facing north there stands the idol which provokes yahweh's jealousy and the glory of the god of israel was there similar to the vision i had seen in the plain he said to me son of man look to the north i looked in the direction of the north and there to the north of the altar gate at the entrance i saw this idol which provokes his jealousy he said to me son of man do you see what they are doing do you see the great abomination that israel commits here to drive me from my sanctuary you will see other abominations greater than this he then led me to the door of the court he said son of man break through the wall i broke through the wall and made an opening he said go in and see the wicked abomination they are committing here i went in looked around and saw all kinds of reptiles repulsive beasts and all the filthy idols of israel portrayed on the wall all around before them stood 70 men elders of israel and among them was jasaniah son of shaphan he held a censer in his hand and perfume rose from a cloud of incense he said do you see son of man what the elders of israel do in the dark each one in his room of pictures for they think yahweh does not see us yahweh has forsaken the land then he said you will see more of their great abominations he brought me to the entrance of the north gate of the house of yahweh and there women were sitting weeping for thomas he said to me did you see son of man you will see even greater abominations than these and he led me to the inner court of the house of yahweh at the door to yahweh's sanctuary between the porch and the altar were about 25 men their backs to the temple facing east and worshiping the sun he said to me did you see son of man is it not enough for judah to commit the abominations that they commit here see they are waving the branch before their nose i too will act against them in anger my eye will not see with pity and i will be without mercy though they cry loudly in my ears i will not hear them ezekiel chapter 9 then he shouted loudly in my ears saying the punishment of the city is near see each one of these has in his hand his instrument of destruction and six men came from the direction of the upper gate which faces north each one with his instrument of destruction with them was a man clothed in linen with writing material at his side they came and stopped near the altar of bronze then the glory of the god of israel rose from the cherubim where it rested and went to the threshold of the house yahweh called to the man clothed in linen who had the material for writing at his side and he said to him pass through the center of the city through jerusalem and trace a cross on the forehead of the men who sigh and groan because of all the abominations committed in it i heard him say to the others now you may pass through the city after him and strike your eyes shall not look with pity show no mercy do away with them all 
old men, young men, virgins, children and women. But do not touch anyone marked with a cross. And as they were told to begin with the sanctuary, they struck the elders who were in front of the temple. Yahweh said to them, Let the courts be filled with the slain, and the temple be defiled with their blood. Go out. They went and slew the people in the city. While they were slaying the people, I fell on my face and cried out, saying, Ah, Yahweh, are you going to destroy all that is left of Israel and unleash your fury against Jerusalem? He said to me, The sin of Israel and Judah is very great. The land is filled with blood and the city full of perversion. For they say, Yahweh has forsaken the land. Yahweh does not see. I too will be without pity. I will show no mercy and I will bring their deeds upon their heads. Then the man clothed in linen who brought the writing kit reported, I have done what you ordered. Ezekiel chapter 10 I looked and saw that in the expanse over the heads of the cherubim there was something resembling a sapphire stone in the form of a throne. He spoke to the man clothed in linen, Enter by the space between the wheels under the cherubim. Fill your hands with coals of fire from between the cherubim and scatter them over the city. And I saw him as he entered. The cherubim stood at the right of the temple when the man entered and the cloud filled the inner court. Then the glory of Yahweh rose from above the cherubim to the threshold of the temple and the temple was filled with the cloud while the court was filled with the radiance of Yahweh's glory. The noise of the cherubim's wings could be heard as far as the outer court. Similar to the voice of God Almighty when he thunders. Yet the man clothed in linen had been given the order to take the fire from between the wheels in the space between the cherubim. So he went and stood beside the wheel. A cherub then stretched his hand towards the fire in the space between the cherubim, took some and gave handfuls to the man clothed in linen who took them and went out. At that moment, I noticed this human hand under the wings of the cherubim. I also saw four wheels beside the cherubim, each wheel beside a cherub. The wheels resembled sparkling chrysolite. As for their appearance, the four had the same form. Each was formed of two wheels placed crosswise, so they could move following any of their four directions without turning as they went. In the direction the cherub's head was turned, the wheels followed without turning. Their rims were full of eyes all around. In my hearing, the wheels were called whirling. Each one had four faces. The first was the face of a cherub, the second the face of a man, the third the face of a lion, the fourth the face of an eagle. The cherubim mounted up. They were the same creatures I had seen by the river Keba. When the cherubim moved, the wheels moved at their side, and when the cherubim raised their wings to rise above the earth, the wheels did not depart from their side. When they stopped, the wheels stopped. When they rose, the wheels rose with them, for the spirit of the living creatures was in them. The glory of Yahweh went from above the threshold of the house and went to rest on the cherubim. Then the cherubim left, 
opening their wings and rising above the earth in my sight and the wheels went with them they halted at the east gate of the house of Yahweh and the glory of God of Israel was over them these were the living creatures i had seen under the god of israel on the banks of the river keba i recognized them as cherubim each had four faces each had four wings and they had what seemed like human hands under their wings as for the appearance of their faces they were the faces i had seen by the river keba the same likeness each one went straight ahead Ezekiel chapter 11 Then the spirit lifted me up and brought me to the eastern gate of Yahweh's house the one facing east and there at the entrance to the gate were 25 men among them I saw Jasania son of Assur and Pelatia son of Benaiah leaders of the people Yahweh said to me son of man these are the men who plant wickedness and give evil counsel in the city they say now there is no need of more houses the city is the pot and we are the meat because of that prophesy against them prophesy son of man the spirit of yahweh seized me and said speak this is the word of yahweh i know what you have said israel i know what you are thinking you have multiplied your victims in the city you have filled the streets with the slain that is why Yahweh has spoken the slain you have left in its midst they are the meat this city is the pot and i will bring you out of it yahweh says because you are afraid of the sword i will send the sword against you i will make you leave and deliver you over to foreigners and i will pass sentence on you you will fall by the sword i will judge you on the borders of israel and you will know that i am yahweh the city will not be like a pot to preserve you nor will you be meat within her and you will know that i am yahweh for until now you have not walked according to my ordinances you have not applied my laws but instead you have acted according to the laws of the nations around you it happened that while i was prophesying pelatia son of benaya died i fell on my face and cried aloud saying o oh yahweh are you to destroy even the remnant of israel the word of yahweh came to me in these terms Son of man these people have said of your brothers your relatives and all the exiled israelites they are well far from yahweh he gave this land to us as a possession give them therefore this word from yahweh i myself have sent them far away among the nations and scattered them among the peoples but i have been a sanctuary for them in the countries they entered for that reason yahweh says i will gather you from among the peoples i will group you together out of the countries where you were scattered and give you the land of israel when you have come back and removed all the horrors and abominations I will give you a new heart. I will put a new spirit in you. Yes, I will remove their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes, observe my laws and practice them 
and they shall be my people and i will be their god as for those whose hearts follow their horrors and abominations i will punish them according to their deeds then the cherubim lifted up their wings and the wheels went with them the glory of the god of israel was over them the glory of yahweh rose leaving the city to rest on the mountain that is to the east at that point the spirit lifted me up and brought me to the exiles in kaldeya all this happened in vision by the power of the spirit of god and the vision i had seen left me then i told the exiles all that yahweh had shown me Ezekiel chapter 12 This word of Yahweh came to me Son of man you live in the midst of a house of rebels they have eyes for seeing but do not see they have ears for hearing but do not hear for they are a house of rebels because of this son of man prepare for yourself an exile's baggage in their sight as an exile does and go as an exile to another place in their sight would that they may understand because they are a house of rebels you will gather your things an exile's baggage by day to be seen by them and you will leave in the evening as for a departure of deportees while they look on dig a hole in the wall and leave from there as they look on shoulder your baggage and leave in the dark veil your face and do not look at the land for i have made you a sign for israel i did as i was ordered gathering my things by day an exile's baggage and in the evening i made a hole in the wall with my hand i left in the dark in their presence shouldering my baggage in the morning the word of yahweh came to me son of man did not the israelites these rebels ask you what are you doing there answer them on behalf of yahweh this oracle concerns the prince in jerusalem and all the israelites remaining in the city say i am a sign for you for what i have done will happen to them they will be deported exile the prince among them shall shoulder his baggage in the dark and depart they will dig a hole in the wall to let them leave by it he will cover his face because he must not see the land with his eyes i will spread my net over him and he will be caught in its mesh i will bring him to babylon in the country of the chaldeans but he will not see it and it is there that he will die as for all those who form his court his guard his troops i will scatter them to the winds and pursue them with the sword they will know i am yahweh when i scatter them among the nations and disperse them in other countries i will however allow a small number of them to escape the sword famine and pestilence so they may confess their abominations among the nations where they will go and they will know i am yahweh this word of yahweh came to me son of man trembling you will eat your bread and you will drink water in fear and anxiety say to the people this is what yahweh says regarding those who live in jerusalem in the land of israel in fear they will eat their bread and in affliction they will drink their water because 
the land will be desolate stripped of all it contains due to the violence of its inhabitants cities that were inhabited will become ruins the country a wasteland and you will know that i am yahweh the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man what do you mean by this proverb the days pass and the visions do not come true why do you refer thus to what happens in israel you shall say to them this word of yahweh no more of this proverb it will not be used in israel for the day is at hand when every vision will be fulfilled no longer will there be false visions or misleading divinations in israel i yahweh will say what i want to say and my words will be fulfilled there will be no more delay for it is in your days rebellious people that i will speak and it will be done word of yahweh the word of yahweh was given me in these terms son of man this is what israel says ezekiel's vision referred to the distant future he prophesies for times far off therefore speak to them this is what yahweh says there will be no further delay concerning my words what i say will be done word of yahweh ezekiel chapter 13 the word of yahweh came to me again son of man prophesy against the prophets of israel against those who prophesy on their own initiative say hear the word of yahweh this is what yahweh says go to the senseless prophets who follow their own inspiration without having seen anything your prophets israel are like foxes among the ruins They have not gone up to the breaches nor have they built a wall around Israel so that she may hold out in battle on the day of Yahweh Their discourse is trickery and lies They say word of Yahweh when Yahweh has not sent them and yet they wait for him to fulfill their word Is it not a false vision you have seen Have you not uttered lying divinations you say oracle of Yahweh when I have not spoken but this is what Yahweh says because of your false and lying revelations I will oppose you word of Yahweh my hand will strike the prophets whose revelations are delusions whose predictions are lies they will not be accepted among my people's assembly nor will they be inscribed in the register of the nation of israel they will not re-enter the land of israel and you will know that i am yahweh these prophets have misled my people saying peace when there is no peace the people are building a wall and these prophets doub it with white wash but say to those who doub it with white wash the wall will fall i will send torrential rain huge hailstones and stormy winds and see the wall will fall will they not say to you where is the white wash with which you doubted it that is why Yahweh speaks thus in my fury i will make violent wind break out and in my anger i will send a torrential downpour and my wrath will hurl destructive hailstones i will destroy the wall you daubed with whitewash 
i will level it to the ground and its foundation will be laid bare it will fall and beneath it you will be utterly destroyed and you will know that i am yahweh i will exhaust my anger against the wall and against those who daubed it with white wash then they will say to me where is the wall and where are those who white washed it the prophets of israel who prophesied to jerusalem and who had visions of peace when there was no peace yahweh then said to me as for you son of man turn towards the women of your people who prophesy on their own initiative and prophesy against them you will say what to those who make magic bands for all wrists and veils for every size of head those women who ensnare souls for the lord yahweh says you who ensnare the lives of my people will you preserve your own you have dishonored me among my people for handfuls of barley and pieces of bread because of you people die who should not die and people live who should not live for my people listen to you and your lies that is why yahweh speaks i hate the wrist bands with which you ensnare souls like birds i will tear your veils and free my people from your hands no more will they fall into your hands and you will know that i am yahweh you have disheartened with lies the righteous whom i would never dishearten and you have strengthened the wicked that he might not turn away from his evil ways and so save his life because of that i will no longer let you have false visions or practice divinations i will free my people from your clutches and you will know that i am yahweh ezekiel chapter 14 some of the elders of israel came and sat in front of me then the word of yahweh came to me son of man this men are keeping in their heart and remain attached to what makes them sin am i to allow them to consult me speak to them on my behalf to every israelite who goes to a prophet while he keeps filthy idols in his heart and is attached to what makes him sin i yahweh will give the answer his many idols deserve for i want to take hold of israel's heart the heart of all those who have strayed from me because of their filthy idols so then say to the people of israel thus says yahweh come back turn away from your filthy idols turn your face away from all your abominations if a man of the people of israel or a guest staying in israel strays away from following me and goes to a prophet to consult me while he keeps idols in his heart and remains attached to what makes him sin i yahweh will answer him myself i will turn my face against this man i will make of him a proverbial example i will strike him from the midst of my people and you will know that i am yahweh if the prophet lets himself be seduced and gives an answer it will be i yahweh who will how let him be seduced i will stretch out my hand against him and destroy him from among my people israel they will be responsible for their sin the prophet will be as guilty as the one who consulted him that the people of israel may no longer stray from me instead of defiling themselves with all their transgressions 
they will be for me a people and i will be their god word of yahweh the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man when a nation sins against me by being unfaithful i will stretch out my hand against it deprive it of bread and the famine will destroy people and animals but if there were found in the land these three men noah daniel and job they would save their lives because of their righteousness word of yahweh if i also let wild beasts roam the land to deprive it of children so that it becomes a desolation without a passer by because of the beasts if these three men were in the land as i live word of yahweh they would not save their sons or daughters but only they themselves would be spared while the land would be made desolate the same would happen if i brought sword against this land and ordered the sword to go through the land destroying people and animals if these three men were in the land as i live word of yahweh they would not save sons and daughters but they themselves would be spared or if i sent pestilence to the land and poured out my fury against it in bloodshed in order to destroy people and animals if noah daniel and job were in the land as i live word of yahweh they would not save sons or daughters but their own lives would be spared because of their righteousness now this is what yahweh says although i have sent my four great punishments sword famine wild beast and plague against jerusalem to destroy people and animals there are survivors sons and daughters who will be brought out they will come to you here and when you see their way of life and their deeds you will no longer be shocked at the disaster i brought on jerusalem and at everything that happened to her they will set your mind at rest when you see their conduct and you will realize that not in vain was all that i did in the city word of yahweh ezekiel chapter 15 this word of yahweh came to me son of man in what way is the wood of the vine superior to that of any other tree in the forest do they take its wood to make anything do they use it to make a peg for hanging a tool but now they have used it as fuel and the fire has burned it at both ends leaving the middle charred is it then of any use if it was of no use when it was whole of even less use will it be when burnt in the fire that is why yahweh speaks thus i took the vine from among all the trees of the forest and i gave it to the fire to be burned this is how i have just dealt with those living in jerusalem i will turn my face against them though they escaped from the fire the fire will burn them and you will know that i am yahweh when i turn against them i will make the land desolate because they have been unfaithful word of yahweh ezekiel chapter 16 the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man make known to jerusalem its sins you say on my behalf your beginning was in canaan there you were born your father was an amorite and your mother a hittite on the day you were born your cord was not cut you were not bathed in water to make you clean 
you were not rubbed with salt nor were you wrapped in cloth there was no one to look with pity on you or compassionate enough to give you any of these attentions you were left exposed in the open fields because you were looked upon with disgust on the day you were born but i passed by and saw you immersed in your blood i said to you in the midst of your blood live i made you grow like a plant of the field you grew up and became tall and were becoming of marriageable age your breasts were formed and your hair had grown but you were naked and exposed i passed by later and saw you were at the age of love and spread part of my garment over you to cover your nudity i made a covenant with you with an oath word of yahweh and you were mine then i bathed you in water i cleansed you of your blood and anointed you with oil i clothed you with embroidered cloth and put soft leather sandals on your feet i dressed you in fine linen and covered you with silk i adorned you with jewelry putting bracelets on your arms a necklace around your neck and a ring in your nose i gave you earrings and a magnificent crown for your head you were adorned with gold and silver your clothing was fine linen silk and embroidered cloth you were fed on finest flour honey and oil you became very beautiful and rose to be queen your beauty was perfect and your renown spread through the nations because of the splendor i had given you word of yahweh but you relied on your beauty you trusted in your fame and you began to give yourself to every passer by like a prostitute with some of your garments you made your high places where you played the harlot the like has never been and never will be with my silver and my gold and with the ornaments that were your splendor and which i had given you you formed male idols and gave yourself to them with your embroidered garments you covered them and before them you have placed my oil and my incense my bread which i gave you the fine flour the oil and the honey with which i fed you you offered as fragrant incense before them word of yahweh you took the sons and daughters you bore for me and sacrificed them as food to the idols was it not enough to prostitute yourself did you have to slaughter my children as an offering to your idols you revel in your abominations and prostitution without remembering the days of your youth when you were naked and exposed lying in your blood woe go to you declares yahweh for all this wickedness you built your mounds and made your high places at every cross road at the entrance to every road you built your lofty shrines you defiled your beauty giving yourself to every passer by and always increasing your harlotry you gave yourself to the egyptians your large limbed neighbors and provoked my anger with your increasing promiscuity and i stretched out my hand against you and reduced your territory and gave you over to the mercy of your enemies the daughters of the philistines who were shocked by your filthy ways you played the harlot with the assyrians as well because you were never satisfied yes you played the harlot with them but you remained insatiable then you multiplied your prostitutions in a land of merchants 
kaldeya and even with that you were not satisfied ah how my anger rose against you word of yahweh as you did all that the work of an accomplished harlot when you built your mounds at the entrance to every road and your shrines in every square you were not like a prostitute because you scorned the payments adulterous wife you prefer strangers to your husband all prostitutes receive fees but you gave gifts to your lovers bribing them to come to you for your favors in your prostitution you have been different from other women no one approaches you and whereas you offer payment no one gives you any you are completely different therefore harlot hear the word of yahweh this is what yahweh says for having exposed yourself and uncovered your nakedness to your lovers and your abominable idols and because you have offered them the blood of your children because of that i will gather all the lovers that found pleasure in you and all those you loved as well as those you hated i will assemble them from all around to come against you and i will strip you before them and they will see your nakedness i will judge you as adulterous women are judged and as those who shed blood and i will bring upon you the blood vengeance of anger and jealousy i will hand you over to them they will tear down your mounds and shrines they shall strip you of your clothes taking from you the ornaments that were your splendor and leaving you naked and bare they shall bring a troop against you to stone you and gash you with swords your houses will be burned by fire sentence shall be passed on you in the presence of many women i will make you cease your prostitutions and you shall no longer be hired but when i have exhausted my fury against you my jealousy shall leave you i will be calm and no longer angry because you did not remember the days of your youth and aroused my anger with all these things i in turn will make you responsible for all you did word of yahweh have you not added detestable deeds to all your other abominations every maker of proverbs will say of you like mother like daughter you are the daughter of your mother who loathed her husband and her children and you are the sister of your sisters who loathed their husbands and their children your mother was a hittite your father an amorite your elder sister is samaria who with her daughters lives on your left and your younger sister at your right is sodom with her daughters you have followed their ways insanely and given yourself to the same abominations you have been more corrupt than they in every way as i live word of yahweh sodom your sister and her daughters have not done as you have done the sins of sodom your sister were pride over indulgence in food complacency and indifference to the poor and needy they were arrogant and did detestable things in my sight for that reason i destroyed them as you have seen as for samaria she has not committed half of your sins your abominations are more numerous than hers and in comparison make your sisters appear righteous so bear your disgrace you who have committed such detestable sins that have provided excuses to your sisters they appear to be more righteous than you are be ashamed and bear your disgrace since your sisters seem holy compared to you 
when i restore the fortunes of sodom and her daughters i will restore your own fortunes in their midst that you may bear your shame and confusion because they now feel they are better than you when your sister sodom and her daughters and samaria with hers will return to what they were before you and your daughters will also return to what you were before had not sodom your sister become a byword for you in the time when you felt proud before your wickedness had become known but now you have become the taunt of the daughters of edom and all her neighbors of the daughters of the philistines who all around show their disgust for you you shall bear the consequences of your foul behavior and your abominations word of yahweh for thus says yahweh i will treat you as you deserve you who despised the oath and broke the covenant but i will remember my covenant with you in the days of your youth and make in your favor an eternal covenant you will be mindful of your ways and be ashamed when i take your sisters both the elder and the younger and give them to you as daughters without prejudice to my covenant with you for i will uphold my covenant with you and you will know that i am yahweh so that you may remember be ashamed and never open your mouth again because of your humiliation when i have pardoned you for all you have done word of yahweh Ezekiel chapter 17 The word of Yahweh came to me in these terms Son of man set a riddle and relate a parable to the people of Israel Yahweh says this The great eagle with powerful wings long feathers and fine plumage of various colors came to Lebanon and removed the top of a cedar he broke off the topmost of the twigs and carried it off to a land of trade and set it in a city of merchants he then took a seed of the land and planted it like a willow in fertile soil near abundant water it grew and became a splendid vine with the spreading branches turned towards the eagle and roots growing deep it became a vine growing branches and producing foliage but there was another great eagle with powerful wings and abundant plumage and the vine twisted its roots and its branches towards him to be better watered than in the soil where it was planted that vine however was able to produce branches bear fruit and develop into a magnificent vine because it had been planted in a good field near abundant water yahweh says will the vine prosper will the eagle not tear out its roots and cut away its fruit so that the foliage will wither and the vine dry up it will not take much effort or many people to pull up its roots it has been transplanted but it will not prosper when the east wind blows the vine will completely wither away in the soil where it grows it will wither the word of yahweh came to me in these terms say to these rebellious people do you not recognize what all this signifies the king of babylon came to jerusalem and carried the king and princes off to babylon then he took a member of the royal family and made an alliance with him binding him by oath he also carried off the leading citizens to keep the kingdom humble and unable to assert itself 
and to oblige the king to respect the treaty but the king rebelled against him and sent messengers to egypt to ask for horses and a powerful army will he succeed will he escape after doing this will he escape after breaking the treaty as i live word of yahweh he will die in the land of the king who put him on the throne but whose oath he despised and whose treaty he has broken there in babylon he will die pharaoh will not send a mighty army and throngs of men to help him in war when ramps are built and siege works erected to kill many people this king has despised the oath and broken the treaty because he did all these things after giving his hand he shall not escape that is why yahweh speaks thus as i live i will make him account for the oath he despised and the treaty he broke i will spread my net over him and he will be caught in its mesh I will bring him to Babylon and there I will demand an account of his infidelity to me as for the pick of his troops they will fall by the sword those who survive will be scattered to the winds and you will know that I Yahweh have spoken thus says Yahweh at the top of the cedar I will take one of its uppermost branches a tender twig and plant it on a lofty massive mountain on a high mountain of Israel I will plant it it will produce branches and bear fruit and become a magnificent cedar birds of all kinds will nest in it and find shelter in its branches and all the trees of the field shall know that i am yahweh i who bring down the lofty tree and make the lowly tree tall i will make the tree that is full of sap wither and the dry tree bloom i yahweh have spoken and this will i do ezekiel chapter 18 The word of Yahweh came to me in these terms Why are you applying this proverb to the land of Israel The parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge As I live word of Yahweh this proverb will no longer be quoted in Israel All life is in my hands the life of the parent and the life of the child are mine the lives of both are in my hands so the one who sins will die imagine a man who is righteous and practices what is just and right he does not eat in the mountain shrines or look towards the filthy idols of israel does not defile his neighbor's wife or have intercourse with a woman during her period He molests no one, pays what he owes, does not steal, gives food to the hungry and clothes to the naked, demands no interest on a loan and doesn't lend for interest, refrains from injustice, practices true justice man to man, follows my decrees and obeys my laws acting loyally. because such a man is truly righteous he will live word of yahweh but perhaps this man has a son who steals and sheds blood committing crimes which his father never did perhaps the son eats at the mountain shrines defiles the wife of his neighbor oppresses the poor and needy steals neglects to pay his debts looks to the idols does detestable things demands interest on a loan even practices usury will such a man live no he will not 
because he has committed all these abominations he will die his guilt will fall upon him but imagine that such a man has in turn a son who does not commit the sins he has seen his father do he does not eat at the mountain shrines or look to the idols of israel does not defile his neighbor's wife or oppress anyone or ask for a pledge on a loan does not steal and gives food to the hungry and clothing to the naked turns from injustice exacts no usury or excessive interest observing my decrees and practicing my laws such a man shall not die because of his father's sins no he will live his father instead who practiced extortion and stole from others will die for his sin because he did wrong among his people you may say why does the son not bear the guilt of his father but the son did what was just and right observing and practicing my decrees he will live the person who sins is the one who will die the son will not be held responsible for the sin of his father and the father will not be responsible for the sin of his son the righteous deeds of the righteous will be to his credit and the sin of the wicked will be charged against him if the sinner turns from his sin observes my decrees and practices what is right and just he will live he will not die none of the sins he committed will be charged against him he will live as a consequence of his righteous deeds do i want the death of the sinner word of yahweh do i not rather want him to turn from his ways and live but if the righteous man turns away from what is good and commits sin as the wicked do will he live his righteous deeds will no longer be credited to him but he will die because of his infidelity and his sins but you say yahweh's way is not just why israel is my position wrong is it not rather that yours is wrong if the righteous man dies after turning from his righteous deeds and sinning he dies because of his sins and if the wicked man does what is good and right after turning from the sins he committed he will save his life he will live and not die because he has opened his eyes and turned from the sins he had committed but you israel say yahweh's way is not just is my position not just is it not rather yours that is wrong that is why i will judge you israel each one according to his ways word of yahweh come back turn away from your offenses that you may not deserve punishment free yourselves from all the offenses you have committed and get a new heart and a new spirit why should you die israel i do not want the death of any one word of yahweh but that you be converted and live Ezekiel chapter 19 As for you son of man intone a lamentation for the princes of Israel say a lioness among lions was your mother crouching among the cubs she nursed her whelps one of these she pushed forward and he grew to be a young lion able to tear his prey and become a man eater but the nations heard about him and he was trapped in their and they brought him with hooks to the land of egypt when he saw that her hope had come to nothing she took another of her cubs and made him a young lion he struck among the others 
for he had become a strong lion able to tear his prey and be a man eat he destroyed their strongholds and ravaged their towns the country and its inhabitants were alarmed at the sound of his roar but the nations came against him from the regions round about they spread their net over him and caught him in their pit they put him in a cage hooks and brought him to the king of babylon there he was put in custody so that his roar was no longer heard in the mountains of israel your mother was like the wine of your vineyard planted near water it became fruitful and leafy from being so well watered it produced a vigorous branch that became a royal scepter towering above the foliage it was outstanding for its height and its numerous branches but the wine was uprooted in fury and cast down to the ground the east wind dried it up and stripped of its fruit its vigorous branch withered and was burned by fire it is now planted in the desert in an arid land of drought fire from its stem has destroyed its branches and fruit no vigorous branch or royal scepter has been left this is a lament that people will sing Ezekiel chapter 20 It happened on the 10th day of the 5th month of the 7th year some men from among the elders of Jerusalem came to consult Yahweh and sat in front of me Then the word of Yahweh came to me in these terms Son of man say to the elders of Israel This is the word of Yahweh Do you come to consult me As I live I will not answer you word of Yahweh Judge them son of man will you judge them Let them know about the detestable practices of their fathers Say to them This is what Yahweh has said The day I chose Israel I committed myself to the descendants of Jacob with an oath. I revealed myself to them in the land of Egypt and I swore to them I am Yahweh your God. On that day I swore to them that I would take them out of Egypt to a country I had explored for them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most splendid of lands. I said to them let each one reject the horrors that attract him do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt I am Yahweh your God but they rebelled against me and would not listen none of them rejected the horrors that attracted them none abandoned the filthy idols of Egypt I then thought of pouring out my fury on them exhausting my anger against them in the land of Egypt but for the sake of my name I relented lest it be profaned in the sight of the nations where they lived whose inhabitants had seen how I revealed myself to the Israelites in bringing them out of Egypt so I brought them out of Egypt and led them to the desert i gave them my decrees and made my laws known to them laws by which man lives provided he observes them i also gave them my sabbaths to be a sign between us letting them know that i am yahweh who makes them holy but israel rebelled against me in the desert they did not follow my decrees They despised my laws by which man lives 
provided he obeys them they so profaned my sabbaths that in my fury i thought of destroying them in the desert but again i relented for the sake of my name lest it be profaned in the sight of the nations who saw me bring them out however i swore to them in the desert that i would not bring them to the land flowing with milk and honey that i had given them the choicest of lands because they had despised my laws and had not followed my decrees they had profaned my sabbaths and their heart went after their idols but i had pity on them and did not destroy them i did not do away with them in the desert i said to their children in the desert do not follow the example of your fathers do not keep their practices and do not defile yourselves with their idols i am yahweh your god follow my decrees observe my laws and practice them keep my sabbaths holy and let them be a sign between us and you will know that i am yahweh your god but their children too rebelled against me they did not follow my decrees or observe my laws they did not carry out these laws by which man lives provided he obeys them they profaned my sabbaths and i thought of pouring out my fury on them and exhausting my anger against them in the desert but once more i held back my hand lest my name be profaned in the eyes of the nations that had seen me bring them out however i swore to them in the desert that i would scatter them among the nations and disperse them in other lands since they had not obeyed my laws but instead had defiled my sabbaths and had looked to the idols of their fathers in the meantime i gave them statutes that were not good and laws they could not live by so that they might be defiled by their gifts i let them offer by fire all their firstborn in order to shame them and let them know that i am yahweh therefore son of man speak to israel say to them this is what yahweh says do you not know that your fathers offended me by their infidelity i led them to the land i had sown to give them but whenever they saw a lofty hill or leafy tree they offered sacrifices they provoked me with the offerings they made there appeasing aromas and drink offerings then i said to them what is this place to which you go that is why they called it high place say to israel thus says yahweh since you follow your fathers in lusting after their abominations in bringing your gifts and in sacrificing your children by fire never ceasing to defile yourselves with your idols am i to answer when you consult israel as i live word of yahweh i will not answer you you have in mind to be like the other nations worshiping wood and stone but this shall not happen as i live word of yahweh i will rule you with an iron hand an outstretched arm and outpourings of wrath then i will bring you from the midst of the nations and from the peoples where i have scattered you with a strong hand an outstretched arm and outpourings of wrath i will lead you to the wilderness of syria and there i will enter into judgment with you face to face just as i judged your fathers in the desert of egypt so will i judge you word of yahweh i will make you feel my rod and sort you out i will rid you of rebels though they go out from the land of their exile they shall not enter the land of israel and you will know that i am yahweh 
people of Israel this is what the Lord Yahweh says go serve your idols but in the end you will not refuse to listen to me no longer shall you profane my holy name with your gifts and your idols for it is on my holy mountain the high mountain of Israel word of Yahweh that all Israel all in the land shall serve me there i will accept you as a pleasing fragrance when i bring you out from the nations and assemble you from the lands where you were dispersed and through you my holiness will be shown to the nations you will know that i am yahweh when i lead you to the land of israel to the land that i saw to your ancestors that i would give you and there you will remember your ways and all your deeds by which you defiled yourselves and you shall loathe yourselves because of your evil ways you will know that i am yahweh when i deal with you israel for my name's sake and not according to your wickedness and corrupt deeds word of yahweh Ezekiel chapter 21 The word of Yahweh came to me in these terms Son of man look towards the south direct your words to the south and prophesy against forest of the south say to the forest O forest hear the word of Yahweh I am kindling a fire that will burn every tree both green and dry its flame will not be quenched but from the south to the north every face will be scorched every one will see that it was i yahweh who kindled it and that it will not be put out this time i said lord yahweh they say that i am always talking in parables But the word of Yahweh came to me in these terms Son of man look towards Jerusalem address your words to the sanctuary and prophesy against Israel say to Israel I come against you I will unsheathe my sword and cut off from you both the good and the wicked yes against both the good and the wicked My sword is unsheathed against all mortals from north to south and all will know that I Yahweh have unsheathed my sword and unsheathed it will remain and you son of man groan in the bitterness of your broken heart groan in their presence when they say to you why are you groaning you will answer because of what will happen when you hear of it every heart will melt every hand become limp every spirit will be faint and knees shall be as weak as water it is to happen it has come word of the lord yahweh the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man prophesy and say on my behalf the sword has been polished and sharpened it has been sharpened for a massacre yahweh gave it to be polished and seized by the hand he has had the sword sharpened and polished to hand to the executioner cry out and wail son of man for this sword is intended for my people and for the princes of israel they shall be given over to the sword with my people with your breast word of yahweh and you son of man prophesy and clap your hands the sword will strike and strike again for the slaughter for the massacre hearts languish and people fall for i have placed at every gate the sword for slaughter 
it has been sharpened and shines o sword slash to the right slash to the left wherever you turn for my part i clap my hands and release my fury i yahweh have spoken the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man mark two roads for the coming of the king of babylon's sword the two should leave from the same point at the head of each road place a sign the first directing the sword to rama of the ammonites and the second to judah and the fortified city of jerusalem the king of babylon in fact is now standing at the parting of the ways at the head of both roads looking for an omen he is shaking arrows questioning the idols looking at the liver of the victims the lord falls upon jerusalem then he raises a war cry set a battering ram at the gates construct a ram and erect siege works those who have sown allegiance to him in jerusalem do not that believe it but he remembers their guilt and they are captured that is why yahweh has spoken your evil deeds have brought to mind your wickedness and made known your sins and when i remembered you sin appeared in all your deeds because of this you will be taken captive as for you dishonored criminal prince of israel the day and moment of your punishment has come they will remove your turban take away your crown all will be changed what is lowly will be lifted high and what is lofty will be brought low i will make it a ruins a ruin such as never has been until the one comes whose right it is to rule the one i shall send and you son of man prophesy and say this is yahweh's word concerning the ammonites and their insults this is what you are to say the sword is unsheathed for the slaughter polished and flashing for the work of destruction beware of your false visions and lying omens when your sword is laid to the necks of the wicked for their time has come and their punishment is near people of ammon put back the sword in its sheath in your own place in the land of your birth you will be judged i will pour out my wrath on you against you i will breathe the fire of my fury and hand you over to brutal men experts in destruction you will be fuel for the fire your blood will be spilled through the land and you shall be remembered no more for i yahweh have spoken ezekiel chapter 22 the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man will you judge them will you judge the city of blood charge her with all her detestable practices say this is yahweh's word city of bloodshed your hour has come you who made your own idols to defile yourself you are nearing your last days the end of your years has come that is why i am making you an object of horror for the nations and a laughing stock for every country those both near and far will mock you for your name is defiled and you are full of tumult the leaders of israel each according to his strength have one intent to shed blood in you israel father and mother are treated with contempt in you the alien is oppressed the fatherless and the widow are wrong 
you have despised my holy things and profaned my sabbaths in you men slander to shed blood in you they go to eat on the hill sanctuaries and act shamefully in you are those who defile their mother's bed in you are those who violate women when they are unclean one man commits a detestable offense with his neighbor's wife another shamefully dishonors his daughter in law another violates his own sister his father's daughter in you men accept bribes to shed blood you exact interest and usury and you rob and exploit your neighbor and you have forgotten me it is yahweh who speaks see i will clap my hands at your dishonest profit and the blood you have shed will your courage hold out will your hands be steady when i shall come against you i yahweh have spoken and i will act accordingly i will scatter you among the nations i will disperse you in other countries to rid you of your uncleanness then will you be dishonored in the eyes of the nations and you will know that i am yahweh the word of yahweh came to me in these terms israel has become for me like dross somewhere like silver bronze tin iron and lead but in the furnace only dross is left the lord yahweh has spoken this is how i am gathering you together in jerusalem as they place silver bronze iron lead and tin in the fires of your furnace to be smelted so in my anger will i assemble you put you in the furnace and smelt you i will gather you in jerusalem stir up the fire of my wrath and smelt you in it as silver is smelted in the furnace so will you be smelted and you will know that i yahweh have poured out my fiery wrath against you the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man say to jerusalem you are a land without rain a land without a shower on a day of wrath a land where the princes have been like a roaring lion tearing its prey they devour people they take treasures and precious objects and increase the number of widows your priests have broken my laws and have profaned my holy things they have made no distinction between what is holy and what is common they have not taught what difference there is between the clean and the unclean they have ignored my sabbath and i have been dishonored by them the officials of the city are like wolves who tear their prey shedding blood and killing people for unjust gain as for the prophets they whitewash everything by means of false visions and lying predictions saying yahweh has spoken when yahweh has not spoken the lords of the land have practiced extortion and robbery oppressing the poor and needy molesting the alien and denying him justice i look for a man among them to build a wall and stand on the breach to protect the land lest i destroy it but i found none so i have poured out my wrath against them i have destroyed them in the heat of my fury bringing down on their heads all they have done it is yahweh who speaks ezekiel chapter 23 the word of the lord yahweh came to me in these terms son of man there were two women daughters of the same mother they became prostitutes in egypt even from their youth 
in that land their breasts were fondled and caressed the elder was called ohola her sister oholiba both of them were mine and they gave me sons and daughters ohola is samaria and oholiba is jerusalem ohola was mine when she played the harlot she lusted after lovers ohola was mine when she played the harlot she lusted after her lovers the assyrians warriors dressed in purple governors commanders desirable young men riders on horses she offered them her harlot tree to those who were the best of assyria she dishonored herself with all those for whom she lusted and with their idols but she did not forget her harlot tree with the egyptians who had lain with her and poured their lust on her from the time of her youth that is why i gave her over to her lovers the assyrians the object of her lustful desires they uncovered her nakedness seized her sons and daughters and slew her and she became a byword among women because punishment had come to her her sister oholiba witnessed this but she was even more corrupt in her lust and worse than her sister in her prostitution she lusted after the assyrians governors commanders horsemen all desirable young men and i saw how she dishonored herself both sisters acted in the same way but she went further than her sister no sooner had she seen men portrayed on walls pictures of caldeans sketched in vermilion then she lusted after these men tightly belted heads top heavy with turbans all resembling babylonians cavalry officers she sent messengers to caldea and they came to her in the bed of love and defiled her with their prostitution they dishonored her so much that she turned from them in disgust but because she had given herself and exposed her nakedness i too turned from her in disgust just as i had turned away from her sister she multiplied her harlot tree recalling her youth when she played the harlot in egypt she lusted after her lovers while bodies were like those of donkeys and whose organs resembled those of horses she returned to the shameful conduct of her youth with the egyptians that is why oholiba thus says yahweh i am sending against you your lovers from whom you have turned away in disgust and i will bring them against you from all sides babylonians and caldeans men of pekot shova and kova and all the assyrians with them and some young men governors commanders cavalry officers titled people all riding horses they will come against you with chariots wagons and throngs of people who will assail you from all sides with buckler shield and helmet i will put your case before them and they will judge you according to their laws i will release my jealousy against you so that they shall deal with you furiously they will cut off your nose and your ears and what is left of you will fall by the sword they will seize your sons and daughters and what is left of you will be consumed by the fire they will strip you of your clothes and ornaments i will put an end to your shameful behavior and your harlot tree dating from your time in egypt you will not look towards them again and will no longer dream of egypt 
thus says the lord yahweh i am handing you over to those you hate to those from whom you turned in disgust they will treat you with loathing and take from you everything you have worked for leaving you naked and uncovered and the nakedness of your parletry will be exposed your shameful conduct and your promiscuity have brought this upon you because you lusted after the nations and defiled yourself with their idols since you have gone the way of your sister i will place her cup in your hand thus says yahweh you shall drink your sister's cup which is deep and wide you shall be the butt of derision and mockery the cup holds so much you shall be filled with drunkenness and sorrow it is a cup of desolation and horror the cup of samaria your sister you will drink and empty it to the dregs and then tear your breasts for i have spoken word of the lord yahweh that is why the lord yahweh speaks thus since you have forgotten me and turned your back on me you too will pay for your immodesty and harlotry then yahweh said to me son of man will you judge ohola and oholiba confront them with their abominations for they have committed adultery and stained their hands with blood they committed adultery with their idols and even sacrificed their children my children as food for them at that time they defiled my sanctuary and profaned my sabbaths the same day they sacrificed their children to their idols they entered my sanctuary to desecrate it this is what they did in my house both of them sent messages to men who had come from afar and they came you bathed yourself for them painted your eyes and decked yourself with jewels you seated yourself on a stately couch and beside a table on which you put incense and oil that was mine the sound of a carefree crowd was heard there because of their number not to mention the people brought in from the desert they put bracelets on the wrists of the women and splendid crowns on their heads then i said about this city worn out and defiled with her adultery this is indeed harlotry men go to her as one goes to a prostitute so they went to ohola and oholiba the dissolute women but upright men will judge as adulterers those who have shed blood for indeed they are adulteresses and blood is on their hands for thus says yahweh let a great assembly be gathered against them let them be delivered to terror and spoil the assembly will stone them have them cut in pieces by the sword kill their sons and daughters and burn their houses i will put an end to debauchery in this land all the women will be warned and no longer will they imitate your immorality i will make your immorality fall on your own heads and when you receive the punishment of your idolatry you will know that i am yahweh ezekiel chapter 24 the word of yahweh came to me on the 10th day of the 10th month of the 9th year in these terms right today's date this very day because the king of babylon has laid siege to jerusalem today teach this rebellious people by means of a parable this is what yahweh ordered me to do put the pot on the fire place it there and pour water into it put in it all the pieces of meat the choice pieces 
the leg and shoulder and fill it with the best of the bones take these from the pick of the flock set wood underneath it in a circle to boil the pieces of meat and cook the bones in it now this is what yahweh says go to the city of blood to the rusty pot with the rust encrusted on it let them empty it piece by piece but without sparing anyone for the blood she shed is in her midst she poured it on the rock surface not on the ground where dust would cover it but i will not cover the blood that was poured on the bare rock i shall instead kindle my fury and take revenge that is why the lord yahweh speaks thus go to the city of blood i will make a great heap of wood pile on the wood light the fire cook the meat well adding the spice and let the bones burn leave the empty pot on the coals that it may heat and the bronze grow red hot to melt the filth inside so its rust will be consumed but the rust is such that not even the fire removes it i have tried to cleanse you of the filth of your immorality but since you would not be cleansed you shall not be cleansed until i have satisfied my fury against you i yahweh have spoken this will happen i will act and not relent i will show no pity no compassion you shall be judged according to your ways and your deeds word of yahweh the word of yahweh came to me in these terms son of man i am about to suddenly take from you the delight of your eyes but you are not to lament or weep or let your tears flow groan in silence and do not mourn for the dead wear your turban put on your sandals do not cover your beard or eat the customary food of mourners i spoke to the people in the morning and my wife died that evening the next morning i did as i had been commanded then the people said to me explain to us the meaning of your actions i said to them the word of yahweh came to me in these terms say to israel i am about to profane my sanctuary your pride the delight of your eyes for which you long the sons and daughters you left behind will also fall by the sword but you will do as i have done you will not cover your beard or eat the customary food of mourners you will keep your turbans on your heads and sandals on your feet you will not lament or weep instead because of your sin you will waste away and groan among yourselves Ezekiel will be a sign for you do as he did and when this happens you will know that i am yahweh son of man the day i take their stronghold the jewel which is the delight of their eyes for which they and their children long on that day a fugitive will come to give you the news that very day you will open your mouth and be able to speak to him and you will no longer be silent you will be a sign for them and they will know i am yahweh